So guys, the new LMG has dropped called the Finn, and I have to say, this is probably one of the best and most versatile weapons within Modern Warfare. It has the most barrel attachments I've ever seen. It's got seven in total, and I'll be going over how you can unlock it and how this actually plays out, and a little bit of detail on the barrels and what they actually do. So as always, guys, make sure you like the video and subscribe to me if you haven't already, so you know what is going on around Modern Warfare. Now, to unlock this new LMG, it's not going to be like the Bruin. The challenge is super easy, and you need to get a melee kill with an LMG in seven different games. So straight away, I'm gonna suggest making a class with an LMG, of course, with a decent mobility. I just went with the SA87 and you want to put the CQB Breacher device on it. This is gonna make it so it's a one hit kill. And you're also gonna to wanna to put the perk fast melee on just so you can hit people a lot faster and secure the kill. And if you're really not good at getting melee kills, then I do also suggest putting a stun grenade on. That is just gonna completely screw people and you're gonna get an easy kill with them. Now jump into any game mode you want. It could be TDM, it could be shoot the shit, which is gonna be easy if you get the shipment playlist doesn't really matter because you're going to end up finding someone anyway and you just need to get one kill in this game with a melee and as soon as you do that you can check the progress by scrolling onto the weapon go to the lmgs and have a look see mine counted and all you got to do leave the game find a new one and it'll keep counting like that you'll get this done within about six minutes if you just keep going in and out of games mine did actually glitch out it was counting two kills instead of one but i'm not going to complain about that then once you get all seven kills you've now finally unlocked the fin lmg and this gun is insane and just like i said before the barrel attachments make this weapon insanely versatile in any situation you could turn it into an smg you could turn it into a long range lmg with increased fire rate and this gun is insane because of the barrel attachments like i said it's got seven different ones in total i mean first off you've got the xrk pro twist this is going to give it more damage range and bullet velocity but it's going to give you less aim down sight speed next you've got the factory adverse this gun is going to give you increased fire rate but at the cost of damage range and recoil control third attachment is the xrk long shot advantage now we're getting onto the sort of better attachments here this is going to give it damage range bullet velocity and recoil control i can imagine that this is going to be definitely used within warzone it's like the first barrel that comes to mind next you've got the xrk pro twist adverse so you've got the bullet velocity and fire rate, but then you've got less recoil control and aim down sight speed. And it says it allows for the max rate of fire without losing the lethality at a distance. Next you've got the FTAC VC8 Harrier. This is just gonna give you aim down sight speed and bullet velocity is one of them attachments I don't know if it's going to be used as much maybe in multiplayer i can imagine that's the sort of attachment you want to be using but these last two attachments are going to be really good you've got the xrk long shot adverse which is personally my favorite in a minute gives it damage range bullet velocity and increased fire rate says here improved range and an insane rate of fire with a smaller increase to recoil you might have to put like a foregrip like a merc foregrip to control the recoil but nonetheless this is an insanely good attachment to be putting onto your weapon in warzone anyway and the last attachment is the ftac vc8 harrier adverse it's going to give you aim down sight speed and increased fire rate but the damage range bullet velocity and recoil control goes down so guys seven different barrels that you can put onto this weapon alone to do completely different things with it there is also a stock that you're going to see which is the last one you unlock which is a, probably a bit weird to you and it's called the xrk chainsaw now this weapon was actually introduced in call of duty ghosts and if you remember the weapon from ghost you'll know that that weapon was actually a hip fire only gun you could never aim down the sights with it and if you put this stock onto the weapon it's going to do the exact same thing you turn it into like a mini gun you can't actually aim down your sights you can just kind of zoom in from the hip so you'll be hip firing with it the perks are the same the ammunition you've got a 75 round bell and a 100 round bell i'd always probably maybe go for the 75 round or you could go for the 100 the attachments that i'm currently going to be using within warzone for this weapon is going to be the monolithic suppressor as the muzzle the xrk long shot adverse a vlk sight for the weapon and the 100 round belt for it. The last attachment, I kind of just, I'm kind of still testing the weapon out. I go over Commando 4 grip, or I might even just take the stock off and put a no stock on it and see how bad the recoil is. But guys, that is it, the Finn LMG gun is insane. I reckon this right now is gonna be the most popular weapon out there. Just because of how versatile it is, you're gonna see a lot of people using the weapon. I can imagine definitely some attachments might get nerfed, but I'm not too sure yet, but the gun is insanely good. And guys, that's it for the video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like and a comment on what you actually think about this weapon as always if you've got any questions or you don't know you're having trouble with a challenge which i don't think you are leave a comment and i'll get back to you but as always i'll catch you guys later